Uh, Steve Eiserman. If you could have anyone's hair in the NHL, current or past, who would it be? Uh, your arm regard. Uh, what number would you wear if you weren't 15? Uh, 96. Why? It's the goal scorer's number. Uh, favorite food? Uh, pizza. Favorite movie? Um, Gladiator. Other than your home rink, what's your favorite rink to play in? Uh, Chicago. Um, I think so. I mean, you kind of have doubts the whole way up and just try to keep plugging away. And obviously, I've been pretty fortunate to you know, play with some good coaches and learned a lot and just try to be uh, one of those niche guys where I could be quick and, you know, as strong as I can, and but as quick as I can first and foremost and just try to uh, yeah, bring a lot of speed to the game. And obviously, with the, uh, the new rules and everything, that definitely helped uh, my case uh, coming up. So just try to be as quick as I can and, uh, and go from there. Right, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, just like you said, um, I think I've been fortunate enough to, you know, be with some great trainers and, and great people too, where they, uh, you know, reinforce that you don't need to be, don't try to be something you're not. And, you know, for me, uh, obviously been down that road where you try to put on weight and, you know, you're not feeling as good as you should out there and, you know, just losing a step. So definitely for me, just try to be as strong as I can, but definitely uh, be as quick as I can uh, where I'm most comfortable, so. Right, definitely, um, especially working with you and Tyler has been, uh, been great with all the uh, just focus on, you know, proper uh, technique and, and um, just making sure that everything is, uh, you know, specific to what uh, is going to make uh, you know, us and me better and, and quicker. I think so. I think, you know, everybody has their, their, own, um, their own way to, that they, especially when you get older, you kind of see what works for you. And, but definitely, um, you know, with, with all the, uh, the work you guys do here and you know all the other guys you can see that are doing similar stuff you can see the guys getting quicker and stronger and just the game progressing so I think it's definitely a place uh, that you have to, or definitely a, a training uh, solution that you have to be doing to kind of keep up with uh, you know everybody going forward. I don't know I think obviously um, right from the get-go I felt very comfortable here and um, just with all your knowledge and you know Tyler's knowledge and just everything that uh, you know has, has come across when you, you know, when we train uh, together, it's just um, you know everything has a purpose. And, and like you said, it's it's nice to get that nice base of strength. I think that's a big thing for me personally. Uh, obviously, not being one of the bigger guys. So, um, and uh, injury prevention, I think too. I've been pretty banged up over the last uh, or my whole career too. So, anything that can help that is is definitely uh, huge for me. Yeah, a bit of both. I think. Um, confidence um, and just you know having the, there's so much other stress and you know other um, other focuses or other things you can put your focus into and you know as, as long as you know you're going in feeling good and you know knowing that you put the work in you can kind of not worry about that and just go in confident like you said and, and uh, just focus on the hockey and and um, you know hope that everything will you know come together and have a good camp. Um, do you have a favorite exercise that we do here? Uh, favorite as in? Like one that you like. Actually, yeah, actually, actually like, like, actually like to do. Yeah. Um, I like doing the trap bar. It yeah. feels good. Um, what one do you hate? Uh, toughest one is definitely for me. It's got to be some form of pull-ups, getting yeah. my chin over the bar. So. Biggest buff, really. So lean to 260. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Maddie. No, it's great. Thanks.